Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where after a very brief hiatus, I am back. I was at SHOT Show 2023 in Vegas, had a great time, saw a lot of cool new knives, and uh, have some pretty good content to bring to you guys in the form of shorts. I didn't really do a lot of sit-down interview type stuff. There's already so many people, so many big-time retailers doing it. Not that I didn't want to do it, I just didn't. I, I wanted to get a little more seen, do a little more talking and interacting um, with not a camera in front of us, to just kind of get to know people. So I wanted to make it a little more personal this time. In the future, I will probably have uh, stuff like that for you. Um, but I did come home to a package, and I believe it's from Vostied. I don't know what type of knife it is, or what type of knife. I'm assuming I'm assuming it's a folding knife, but I don't know which model it is. So uh, I thought I'd unbox that here with you guys and take a look at it, uh, give you some first up thoughts. Then, of course, there'll probably be a full review down the road because I do know um, that this is not, there's a few different ones that I got coming my way, um, and all three of them are ones that I've never handled. So I do know it's a new knife to me, so there'll be a review coming. We're going to do the unboxing with the Vostid Valkyrie, which, of course, as you guys know, these are out of stock. Um, I have a full review coming, and uh, so far, so good on these guys. But I will post that review a lot closer to when these knives will actually drop, so you'll have a better idea of when they're available. Now, let's get into this and see just what we have here. Um, while I'm tearing into this, I want to let you guys know, uh, thanks a lot for tuning in today. If you like what you see, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, follow along, and of course, I will continue to bring you the content. And who knows, hopefully I'll be able to bring you a lot more here in the future. I'm working on things, so keep your fingers crossed for me. Um, but let's take a look here at what we got, and it is indeed a Vosteed. I kind of usually, when I see, on the other side of this box is the label with the information to where it doesn't say Vosteed, but it says what I need to know to know. It's from Vosteed. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we got here. Um, get into this nice tin they send their knives with. And, um, it's, oh, okay, here's a sticker. Uh, the Bellamy. The Bellamy, why is that? I th okay, so I think this, if I remember right, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong here, but I believe this is an older model that they're making a new run of. I believe this was one of their first knives here. Let's bring it out and take a look at it. Um, now, I've never handled this one. I have never handled this. They, sell, they sold out before I was able to handle the first run. Um, is that? Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, never mind. Oh, this is my Carta. Hold on a sec. This is a, a very different micarta. Where did I, I thought I saw this somewhere of what it was. Ah, there we go. Uh, 154 CM. Okay, yeah, black micarta. Oh, this is cool. So this has got a frag pattern going, which for micarta um, is pretty good. Usually you get to do frag on micarta, and that can get to be a little nasty. Let's clean up here. Let's, of course, it comes with the sticker, the patch, the cloth, a lot of good stuff, this nice hard tin which I'm a huge fan of this tin. I like this tin just as much as anything else in the whole thing because it protects the knife for you on the way to your place. And the pouch is out of the way. And now let's take a look, a little closer look here. Um, I gotta say, I'm usually, like if you were to tell me that it's my Carta and it's got the frag patterning, I would say, uh, it's kind of a red flag. I'm worried on how that's gonna turn out. Um, this actually turned out pretty darn good. There's not much fraying. There's there's just a little, as you can kind of see, you know, on a little corner here and there, but uh, that should patina away pretty well over time. Let's give it a first flip. Hmm, very nice. Very uh, Vostid-like action. Very smooth on the clothes. Uh, let's do that again. Let's look at this flipper here. Nice jimping on that flipper. Very, very nice. Good traction. Kicks the blade out just fine. As this looks like a... It is, that is a hollow grind on this blade. And I don't know, it feels pretty thin. I don't know exactly how thin. Like I said, we'll cover that in a full review. Um, but I like the blade shape, like that clip point bowie type blade, um, like the fuller. Let's see, can we, can we middle finger flick it with that fuller? Yes, you can. And it's a pretty good middle finger flick. Uh, front flip. Pretty good. I have some reservations about that. I'll save that for the uh, for the full interview or full interview, full review. I'm still caught up in a uh, in uh, what I was wanting to do at Shot Show and what I'm doing right now. But yeah, I like the size of it. Looks like to be a three point three ish inch blade. I would say probably a three point three three point three five. Does it say that on there? Doesn't specify the length. I would say this is around 3.3 inches. Let's bring the Valkyrie out and let's do a size comparison with the Valkyrie. 
And we'll also bring in another one that everyone knows. Let's, uh, let's bring in this guy right here. This is the Civivi Elementum Button Lock, which, uh, as you know, is the exact same length as the regular Elementum. So considerably bigger than the Elementum. So you're working with definitely, I would consider this a medium-sized knife. Um, not really small by any means. And uh, action that's pretty darn impressive. Uh, I gotta say, I've got out of the box, I've got no, no issues with this action. Very, very smooth. Pretty effortless flipper on this guy. I really, really, really like that. Um, there is a detent and it holds up pretty well to shakes. Yeah, very, very nice. If you, so this being the second run, like I said, let me know in the comments, but I'm almost positive this is the second production run of these. Let me know in the comments too if you guys have owned one of these in the past and your thoughts on it. Um, how do you like it? How is it held up for you? That's obviously what's very important. See, they have that same typical clip on here. Uh, got a nice, nice lock up with the liner lock. So no issue there and uh, a good looking blade. So yeah, really excited to carry this in the pocket for a few days. Give you guys a little more detailed review on what I like and don't like about it. And uh, maybe I'll pair it with another Vosteed at some point or another little kind of like bundle review. I really like doing these bundle reviews to where I don't just talk about one knife. I talk about, you know, maybe two and maybe they're not the same. Maybe maybe one's Vosteed, one's Civivi, maybe one's Vosteed, one's Kaiser. Maybe who knows? Maybe it's Kaiser and Civivi. Who knows? Uh, but I like the bundle reviews. I, I, I think I may lean towards those a little more with the exception of like big high-end knives or, you know, certain knives will get their own reviews. Some may get some combo reviews. I like uh, I like bringing that extra little bit of context to one review. A little extra bang for your buck in terms of content. Let me guys know if you like that idea. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, out of the box, I got no issue with this. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, pretty darn good. So uh, we'll see if it, uh, if it holds up to the carry test and uh, give you my thoughts on that. And uh, that's pretty much it for you guys. Keep your eye out because I've got some shorts coming your way on some newer knives as well as a lot of stuff. So hit that subscribe button and uh, keep up the track of everything coming out for you guys. And i uh, got a lot of good stuff to bring you. And uh, that's that for this one. Let me know what you think of the Vosti Bellamy. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.